In this video, you are able to learn the important technique of how to make this incredible caramel macchiato honeycomb. You will need 150 gram of sugar, one shot of espresso coffee, 30 ml of water, and 4 gram of baking soda. First, put the sugar, espresso coffee, and the water into the deep saucepan. Use the medium heat to cook the sugar. As you can see, the sugar has turned into syrup and become bubbly. When a big bubbles turn into small bubbles, you can shake the pan to get even distribute of the heat in the syrup. At this moment, do not use any tool to stir. This is very important because the more you stir, the syrup will easily become crystallized. To avoid that, we just need to shake the pan. When you see some of the smoke come out from the bubbles, then it is time to use a whisk to stir and check the consistency of the syrup. If you check to most of the honeycomb recipes, they all say use the thermometer to check the syrup's temperature. But because my recipe has added espresso, so the syrup becomes really foamy and won't able to check by a thermometer. So, here comes my second important technique. While you are stirring, leave out the whisk and see if the syrup drops down like lumpy chunks. That means the temperature is still too low. By the time when the temperature of the syrup keeps raise up, there will be lots of smoke coming up. So make sure you do not make this recipe in a small place that has a bad air circulation, otherwise the smokes might make you cry. When the syrup almost reaches the correct temperature, it will look like a thick caramel sauce. And when you leave out the whisk, the syrup drops like a smooth liquid foam. Then you can off the fire and add in the baking soda. Once you add the baking soda, stir very quickly and the syrup will become really puffy. Quickly transfer this hot caramel macchiato honeycomb on a clean baking paper. Let it cool down for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you can break this caramel macchiato honeycomb into smaller pieces. Store it at an airtight container. If I have a food grade moisture absorber, put that inside the container. That can help the honeycomb to stay dry and crispy longer. If you don't have the moisture absorber, that's fine. 
it will still able to stay crispy up to 14 days, depends on how often you open the container. This is my incredible multi-purpose sweet. You can enjoy just eat it right away, or use it to make hot or cold beverages, or have it as an extra topping for your breakfast cereal, or topping for salad. So try this at home.